feelings. They're part of the human experience. We can't completely escape them. And most often we don't choose the ones that we deal with. Whether anxiety, depression, rejection, attractions, whatever it is, we simply find ourselves with certain feelings. The most dangerous aspect of a feeling isn't the emotion itself or even the behavior that it influences. But it's that the devil uses a persistent feeling to create a script for our lives. By this I mean he uses feelings to influence the way that each of us understand ourselves. Allow me to use my life as an illustration. In my early years, I found myself struggling with timidity, especially around strangers. This shyness held me back in social situations. I didn't know how to interact with people my age and most didn't want to interact with me. So for years, I felt different, rejected, and a variety of other things. As these feelings persisted, they became the bullet points on a script that I became to believe about myself. Accordingly, I came to believe different and reject as who I am. I saw them as parts of my identity, an identity of shame. Now, my born-again experience at 16 years old didn't suddenly dissolve these struggles and neither did mere willpower or mustering up more faith. The most decided change in me happened as I grew in the understanding of the truth that God's Word spoke about me. It was assurances like, if anyone's in Christ, there is a new creation, or we are God's masterpiece. I learned that these promises were the bullet points on a new identity called in Christ. And while I never chose the feelings that I felt, I now had a choice to make. I could continue to allow those old things to identify me, or I could choose to identify with my new identity in Christ, even despite what I feel. In other words, I could choose to accept that God's Word is more real than what I feel. And so I did, and so I do. With this, my I am changed from I am a reject or I am different to I am a child of God. I am God's masterpiece. If you currently struggle with something that you don't want, here's some encouragement. Hear this. You aren't how you feel. What you fear are the ways you fall. Victory doesn't necessarily mean that you no longer feel but it means you no longer identify with that feeling because you've chosen a new I am, the great I am, which is in Christ. And that, in Christ, is a shame-free identity because it's no longer about you, but it's about Him, Jesus, the one in whom the accuser can find no fault.